Your Highness, Your Excellencies, countrymen, look who comes this way between the rays of the setting eastern sun comes one no less resplendent with her many glittering accolades. Recipient of the Order of the Silver Crescent, the Silver Brooch, recipient of the Silver Tower, recipient of the Ivory Tower, the Bronze Tower, Primarch of the Company of the Mud, three-time recipient of the Burden Tiger, former Seneschal of Setmore Swamp, and our current and beloved Exchequer, I present to you the Honorable Lady Karras Escapitor. This was perfectly illustrated a few years ago at Mudball when she found out that she wasn't able to use the kitchen and had to prepare the whole feast in the hallway. I went to see if I could offer some help. Um, and as soon as I saw her, I could see how stressed she was. And I know how most people would have reacted to somebody coming up. And she turned to me and she said, Hi, how are you? It was genuine, it was warm, and it shows how much she cares about others. I have looked to Karis to know what it means to be a better person and a better parent. When my daughters were born, it was Karis and Orlando uh, that my wife and I used as a model for her parenting. I have seen how she intends to instill good virtues in her children, and she again inspires me. She's shown me what it is to have the chivalric virtue of courage, justice, mercy, generosity, faith, nobility, and hope. Her example reminds us all what it means to be a peer, and our kingdom is strengthened by her. Paris, not my peer. She's my cousin. And I hope that she will consider me. Is there a member of the Order of the World to speak for Paris? I am that Gisco Gisco Bolion, and that honor is mine. I could speak of how long I have known this candidate, however, that would require revealing numbers neither of us want rooted about in public. <laughs> however, to speak 
as a laurel in what we value. We look for those who seek knowledge, who share knowledge, who work and develop their skill. But more than that, we look for the spark that is underneath it, the passion that drives it. And we look for those who take that passion, they hone it, and they focus it, and they use it to push their skill forward and to push our society forward. Lady Karras has had that passion for as long as I have known her, and I am thrilled to be able to commend her to you this day. Is there a member of the Order of Defense that will speak for this candidate? I am Master Kane Ramsey, and I claim that honor. But before I begin, a moment of honesty. If you know Karis, you would know that waxing poetic from something from Shakespeare would be appropriate, and I must confess, I thought about that. But then I came across a quote, and it made me think of Karis. I couldn't think of anything that encapsulated my thoughts of Karis better than was very simply this. Nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. And if you know Karis, that is the core of her being. Everything she does, the autocratic, cooking, serving, exchequer, all of it, she has attacked it with an abandon, with a passion, to know it intimately, to know it in depth, and to make sure that the people around her share in that knowledge. I cannot think of anything harder than stepping into event after event, meal after meal, and attacking it from anew. And there was never fear, there was just this endless search. You've eaten your meals. You've been at her events. She has been an archer, a fencer, an autocrat, a teacher, an environmentalist, a parent. She has kept Orlando in, Orlando in mind, which alone is worthy of this award. <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> she has become that a living embodiment of nothing in life is to Fear is only to be understood. She is fearless. She embraces the process. She shows grace, dignity, and humility. She serves not because there is a reward, but because serving is the reward. And for those of you that share that particular passion and burden, she is a shining example along with you to the rest of us. Fearless and passionate of service, humble and dignified in the acceptance of accolades, inquisitive and ever questing on better ways that she may serve. Your masters, this is a good thing you do. These are the attributes that we all should strive for. These are the attributes of the fear. And I will humbly submit that she will be here for what she needs to know. Is there a Lady of the Rose to speak for this candidate? Your Majesties, I may not be a Lady of the Rose, but today I carry the words from what? You could not be here. Greetings, Your Majesties, Your Highness, Your Excellencies, from Duchess. Mistress of the Pelican and Lady of the Rose. To my dear Lady Paris, it is with great regret that I am unable to be here today, but I am honored to speak for you. Today I will speak about Lady Paris' hospitality. This wonderful lady always has the best welcoming smiles. Whether she is working her way in the kitchen, or bustling about the site making sure everything is in order, or giving up her home for meetings, she is always looking out for others and always making them feel welcome. Hospitality in this great pastime of ours is key and the foundation by which this kingdom and the SDA stands on. Many call it courtesy, 
But to me, hospitality goes a bit further. Paris was out of the way to make both newcomers and old timers feel welcome and cared for equally. Today has been a long time coming, and I look forward to when I can return the favor of your hospitality and welcome you to the Lord of the Power. Keep smiling. Your companion of the Order of Pelican that will speak for this candidate. And my young, my old age, what comes to me, and I claim that right. Harris and I have known each other more years than either of us care to admit with an adventure to all the way. But the first time I met her, she wanted to speak to me about learning calligraphy and illumination, but the the conversation was really short because she was working in the kitchen. <laughs> in the intervening years, she and I have had many conversations that begin high on on cooking. Mud thaw, be a drinker, champion, coronation, mud thaw, yes, I did it deliberately. Because that is what Paris wants to do. Yes, she's been an officer, she does other things, works for the signet. She loves to cook. Why does she do this? Not for the recognition. The last place she wants to be right now is the center of attention right here. It is not for recognition. It is because service is not what she does, it's what she is. She will be called that franchise. And she embodies that. And thus I can manage to come. Your Majesties, welcome into their court, the companions of the Order of the Pelican. Mm-hmm. 
Maybe you've made it with lots of help and stage fright. <laughs> Yeah! 